night and then suddenly he appeared back on the pitch so that's tough character it's a good chance for Cresci if he can get the shot away he does better than that he beats the goalkeeper and it's 2-0 to the JP Punjab Warriors Armand Cresci has done it again for his team high fives between Jagbir Singh and Barry Dancer images of himself in his youth in the young man tremendous goal scorer great first touch it's taken it outside the reach of the defender not much Charter could do from nine yards out reaction time very slim not much he can do 2-0 that was sheer pace wasn't it Charter was still bringing his legs together as the ball was coming off the backboard Come and crash you Tommy was gonna score two in the semi-final he's having a breather now and now it is SK Utapa that's a good pass to Durhambir Durhambir to the baseline fired across the good clearance coming from Tristan Clemens and Carl Brown helps out at the back and he's penalized for shielding the ball Sorello goes to the baseline hits a foot free hit to the JP Punjab Warriors into the circle they go trying to get it across it's just run over the baseline on to the right to Amit Rohidas he looks to slap it in comes to Turner can Turner get a shot it dribbles towards Clemens and he clears with ease still alive though for Kalinga great aerial pass over the top Govinda Singh Chandi well he was brought down by Charter it is going to be a long corner Kalinga need to play it really quickly comes to Malak into the foot but not sure he'll get time to take the free hit a little bit of frustration first break in the match Mark Hagar lets off Malak ball from the side more than just a goal scorer Rahidas was trying to switch play but Goads read it perfectly Sardar on one side of him he stops the ball back to his roommate Orchard it's great deflection by Goads looks to go round Charter he's done that well has to square it back to the top of the circle and Zalewski got a crucial touch as he was looking to set up Orchard trying to turn that's a great tackle by Gajinda he's got Kaspers ahead of him Sardar comes across just knocks it past him and runs into him and gets the foul Sardar knew exactly what he was doing so too did Gajinda Durhambir looks to fire it into the legs penalty corner has been given Sardar not happy but here is a chance for Kalinga Lancers Durhambir flying around the outside just knocking oh dearie me so Dawson, Gajinda and Furster. It will be, you think, Furster or Gajinda who will sweep for goal. It's Furster. And Furster has pulled a goal back for the Kalinga Lancers. Just what his team needed. It gives them a lifeline. They're cheering him on. What a great penalty corner by Moritz Furster. The great man steps up, flicks it low and hard into the bottom corner. Arguably the, the most difficult spot for a goalkeeper. He's just got a little bit of lift on that one outside the reach of the glove. Tough, tough one to save. Tremendous penalty corner. Good pace. Tristan Clemens, there wasn't much he could do about that. He tried to get down, he tried to get across. First to trying to G up the crowd. Amit Rohidas sweeps a diagonal pass. Great work by Lally. Shoots. Good save. And it's still alive inside the D. It's just gone wide. I think there's going to be a referral so it is a penalty corner there's the first save great smothering tackle on the second one smothering save sorry Glenn Turner taking a nibble on it Dawson moves slightly to the left it comes to Gurjinder hits the first runner Jake Wetton did well Jazji just slaps it forward finds SV Sunil SV Sunil looking for Arman Kureshi but couldn't bring it under control he felt he was fouled the decision though didn't go his way to get the second half underway the Kalinga Lancers trailing the JP Punjab Warriors two goals to one how are they going to get back in this game Solly feeds Orchard Orchard fires to the baseline Sapir kept it in well but it's taken away good defense again but given straight back to Jazji to Armand Kreshi and he hit it into his own foot I think that's some excellent ball movement here, changing the point of attack. Arman Qureshi in space. Oh dear, to the back of the stick. He really miss hit that. Yep, back of the stick. Leghorn feeds Nitin to Meyer. SB Sunil surges into the circle. 
just going to have to check by first to deflect back. Shot comes in and Goads has got a second goal. Set up by SV Sunil, who got the better of Moritz Furster, and Goads makes no mistake. Owners' representatives, SV Sunil flowing down Moritz Furster, paying attention. Sunil rolls past his left foot. Here it is, rolls past Furster's left foot. Goads just receives across the line of Dipson. Eliminates him with the receive and pops it in to the far post. And Charter had no price on that one. Not much he could do. Oh, Matt Goad still had a lot to do when he received that ball. Sarda helps it forward to Nitin Tamaya. He finds Arman Kreshi. Paddy Moore, what a tackle again. Paddy Moore, every time his team needs him, he's delivered defensively tonight. A long corner though to JP Punjab Warriors. Is that a smile on Barry Dancer's face? Not quite yet, I don't think. But it's one back by Sapir. Sapir into the circle. Sapir plays it across. It will be a goal. It is another goal, and it was actually Sapir who scored the goal. He started it. He finished it. A hit you on a fast flowing counter attack. Let's listen up for the referral. The only Absolutely. thing is if the player's interfering, isn't it? Absolutely. He wasn't influencing play at all. Malak was traveling in that direction. He just played the ball off. Zaluski wasn't anticipating it. Hi, Martin. Hi, go ahead, Andy. I've got no clear reason to change the decision. The ball has traveled more than five meters. Yeah. There's no problem there at all from my point of view. What was the question? Right. So, therefore, you can give the goal. Right, okay. Well, it didn't affect did. the play because That's that right. was the direction that Malak was running with the goal. Here we see it again. It's great interplay between him and Arman Qureshi. in front of Clemens. Zaluski, Dawson slaps it forward, the hooter goes, no it is game time. Good return pass from first to Willis, tries to shoot, Knowles came across, brilliant defending. The man with the bib is Matthew Dawson, Turner gets the ball, can he get the better of Kyle Brown? Yes he can, to the baseline he goes, looks for a foot, Brown managed to get his feet, no he didn't manage to get them out of the feet, wait. Raghu Prasad was ideally placed. They're going to have to go for the field goal. There's no doubt about that, Solly. Very strong run by Glenn Turner. It's almost impossible to stop from this distance. Oh, just catching the toenails. And that comes to Furster again. This time he fires it straight down the middle. And a diving defence from Goads. Nearly got a stick to the head for his efforts. Oh, that was very close. Party more as Matt Goats dived towards the ball. SV Sunil, can he round off a memorable night for the JP Punjab Warriors? Gurjinder says no, you can't. But it is a free hit for the JP Punjab Warriors. The ball goes to Gleghorn. Sardar says I want it. Gleghorn lets him have it. Sardar about to collect his second Hockey India League title. The Hooter goal. 